when I was still a medical student, I rotated psychiatry units. And all of a sudden, they brought one man. And what struck me was that they were calling him pastor. They carried pastor and they dropped pastor in the midst of mental people. You know, as a Christian student, it, it caught my attention. And I went to the wife. I said, what happened to pastor? And she said, I'm a prophetess. God called me to start a church three years ago. And by the help of God, I've grown the church to about 300 congregation. But when I married this man, he stopped allowing me to preach. Anytime they brought anyone with demonic oppression to mama to pray for them, papa would chance mama. Don't you know the husband is the head of the wife? And papa will pray. He was getting away with it until a day came when they brought really, really demonic people. This one is strong. And again, it was mama they brought them to. And as usual, Papa Chasam. And Papa was there praying. The people were not delivered though. After the prayer, Papa locked up himself in the room and he continued praying. Now, he prayed like that for like six, seven hours. People thought maybe it was a revival. Papa has hunger. And Papa prayed for 24 hours. He didn't come out. He still prayed. Day two, Papa is still praying. Day three, Papa is still praying. They did not know that this prayer is not sponsored by the Holy Ghost. Papa prayed for three days. That was when they knew that this is not revival. They had to break the room and they saw Papa messed up. That was when they grabbed Papa and Papa landed in psychiatry world. When you try to dispense God in an area that heaven has not authorized you, the consequence is you are exposed to demonic attack. Because see, authorization guarantees security. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Anointing is that authorization code. If you attempt to dispense God in a dimension you are not authorized, you are not just vulnerable to satanic attack. They won't allow you to get results because authorization attracts power. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because what? He has anointed me. Now let me explain something to you. When Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, what Jesus was referring to was the encounter that happened at Jordan. But I also realized that what happened to Jesus at Jordan was not what we call the baptism of the Holy Ghost. No, Jesus had been filled with the spirit right from the womb. If John carried that dimension from the womb, you think Jesus did not have it? And that is why Jesus manifested some dimensions of the Holy Ghost when he was 12. The book of Isaiah chapter 11 makes us to understand that there are several spirits of God. He said, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Somebody say one. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the spirit of the fear of God. It was the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding that made him to teach the doctors of the law in the temple when he was 12. It was the spirit of the fear of God that made Jesus live 30 years without committing a single sin. But there was still a dimension of the spirit that had not been activated in the ministry and in the life of Jesus. It's called the spirit of the law. So, what came upon Jesus at Jordan was not just the Holy Ghost. Because he didn't say the spirit of God is upon me. What did he say? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. So, it was the dimension of the Holy Ghost that Jesus needed to exert lordship, dominion in the area of his calling. Jesus could not do ministry for 30 years until that singular dimension came upon him. He needed to wait for it. So, just the fact that you are filled with the Holy Ghost does not mean you have the power to be effective in the area of your calling. I see some of you, you brag around and say, well, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Let's go to the nations. The way you are, when your mates are in the secret place at the right side of the Father, contending for this power. Yes, I know you have the authorization, but it is not yet time. Sit down on my right side. Go to the secret place and tarry. Believe me honestly. Results in this kingdom, they don't just happen. If it is not settled in the realm of the spirit, it cannot happen in the physical realm. There is a level of power that will come upon you, that will launch you to the nations of the earth. That when you get to Afghanistan, the demons there, they can't confront you. When you get to China, the demons there, they can't confront you. Because you have come with the rod of the apostles. There is a power that sponsors your entrance.